What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Blue Circle Gaming and today we are going to be going through a quick tutorial of Google Tilt Brush. In your right hand you've got your brush, in your left hand you've got your palette. Now in your right hand on the stick you can make your brush bigger by moving it to the right, smaller to the left. Pull the trigger on the back to begin painting. Nice small line, make the brush a little bit bigger moving the stick to the right got a much bigger broader stroke. Now you hold your left hand up, you've got your palette here and you can click and have different kinds of paint lines over here. Wet paint, tapered marker, highlighter, all kinds. I uh, just recommend going through and honestly trying out all of these, kind of see what you like what would be best in certain situations. I kind of like this light right here. Alrighty. Left hand, push the left stick to the right, circle through. Here's your color wheel. Just click what color you want. If you want it darker, go over here. Lighter, go up. Just like that. Then we go over here and we've got a couple different things. Eraser, click that, then you pull the trigger on the right hand side, whatever this touches, it will erase. Or you can hold it down, just like that. We'll draw a couple more lines on here. Also the X button over here, you can see this is the undo button. So. If you ever want to just undo the last thing you did, you can just quickly hit that. It'll take you a step backwards. And you've also got a step forwards button now. So if you press that, just like that. Go ahead and get rid of all that. Go back here. That's the dropper tool. So let's say I really liked that color and I currently had it on a different color. Click the dropper, go up to it, click it. There you go. Now you're back with that same color again. All right, recolor. If you want to change the color of things, click it. Let's say I wanted to make this red. Go red, boom. All righty, teleport. Instead of just walking around if you wanted to move somewhere else. Let's say I wanted to go there. Click. And now I'm on the opposite side. I want to go somewhere else. Click. Click. You get the point. All right. Selection tool. Pull the right trigger. Say I wanted to get that and that. Now those are selected. See how they are changing like a rainbow color. Then if you go over it, you see the copy paste button right here, your A button changes. Hold it, copies it, then click your secondary trigger and hold it to grab something. And you can just copy paste. Copy paste as needed. I'm gonna hit the undo to go back to where we were, right there. All right, mirror. Now you've got kind of a mirror here, so if you want to draw something like, for example, let's say a heart, kind of go pink, start right here. Oh, there you go. If you want to move the mirror, go right to the middle, hold the grab button, move it around, change it like that. And now, oops, we're like this. Just like that. Cool thing with this mirror, if you grab it and flick it like you're trying to flick it away, it just starts spinning. So let me erase a couple of these things so we got some more space here and I'll pull it back up. Go back into the mirror, there it is. Grab it, flick your wrist. And then you could start making weird things like that. If you want it to spin the other direction like your wrist that way and now we can start making things like that all right all kinds of fun things you can do with the mirror we'll stop that turn it off 
we'll go to straight edge. Hold the trigger, pull it straight down, and you have, as it says, the straight edge. Go straight across like that. Also, if you hold it and then hold your A button here where you can see the lock, it'll lock it in like so. Just like that. Only thing you gotta kind of be careful of is you're holding the lock button. You want to let go of the trigger first, then let go of the lock button. Alrighty, your environment, you got all kinds of different options here. If you want to go to let's say space, click that. Boom, we're in outer space. Moon and all. Uh, pedestal. If you want to have a pedestal to work with here, you can now draw things on here. Like so. Oh, my straight edge is still on. Let's turn that off. Just like that. Cool. All right. Lighting. You can kind of change where the different shadows and highlights will be with this. You can change your light colors, secondary colors, fill light. Grab this and just toss it away when you're done with it. Backdrop, once again, change how much fog's on here. Change the colors of the skies, things like that. Grab, toss when you're done with it. Guides, these are kind of cool. If you want to make, let's say, for example, a sphere, click that. There it is. Also, your two secondary buttons here. If you hold them, you can resize the area that you're working with. Now, if you want to resize one thing, Get both controllers on top of it. Hold those two buttons. And for example, this spear. See how we can move it around, make it bigger, smaller, whatever. Let's say we wanted to make this blue. And if you stay just to the outside of it, you will see that your brush stays right along the outside like that. So if you wanted to make a sphere, you can simply color it in like this. And then see, you've got some other guides over here, a cube, you've got a capsule. Let's try the cube. Here's that. Click that. You can move it however you'd like it. If you want it bigger or smaller, put both controllers in there. Hold your secondary triggers. And you can stretch or shrink as needed. And you can just draw along the top of it like so. I'm not being super accurate here, but you get the gist. Just like that. Then whenever you're done with the cube, simply grab it, toss it. Your paint's still there. Like I said, I wasn't very accurate at that. That looks terrible, but you get the gist. So, And then the poly library, you can click this, and there's different models here you can pull in from different people. Like, for example, here's a phone. This is from Alex Safi, Safian. I hope I'm saying the name correctly. Click that, boom, there it is. Hold your secondary trigger, and you've got a hold of an iPhone. Yep, got the notch, definitely an iPhone. You wanna make it bigger? There, oh, I've got a gigantic iPhone. Still a lightning port. Anyways, when you're done with it, simply toss it away. All right, there's all kinds of different models that people have put up there, all kinds of different things. Grab this, toss it. If I could toss it right, there we go. Grab that, toss it. Also, your B button here, it's lit up right there. If you hold this, you can just quick select certain things here. So if you want a dropper, eraser, any of these things, you can just select them, let go, and you're automatically there. You want to go back, just push it again. Now you're ready to paint again. If you want to save your sketch right here, you can upload it, trash it, go into beginner mode, go into your sketchbook here, see other people's drawings, whatnot. Another thing here, options. You can go to labs and you can sideload reference images. For example, if I cl click reference image, I sideloaded from my PC a couple of the uh, Master Swords from Zelda because I eventually 
plan on doing a master sword. So if I click this, this is the image that I saved. I can move it around if I want to make it bigger, just like that. For example, if I wanted to make the sword there, I can kind of set that right there. Throw this out of the way. We'll move this out of the way. And now I've got a pretty good reference image right there to be able to work with right here. Also, if you go into the settings here, kind of got some other settings, analytics, help about distance indicator, uh, brush tip angle, memory usage. This is interesting. If you get like a bunch of strokes on screen, if you've been messing with it for quite a while, you'll slowly see this start to fill up. And uh, once it starts getting towards the top, then you probably need to chill out. So, but... But yeah, that's pretty much everything for a quick intro tutorial to Google Tilt Brush. And I encourage you to get it and start playing around with it, experimenting, and have fun. If you learned some things, hit the like button. If you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.